Once you have logged into Blogger, you will be taken to your profile page, and this is where you will create your new blog uh, to use professionally here at school. And so you'll notice that there is a button here on the left-hand side that says New Blog, and when I click on that, it's then going to let me put in a title. So I'm going to call this Kelso's professional blog. You should have already thought of a very unique name um, after uh, looking at the website that we provided to come up with a catchy name for your blog. Next you're going to put in your address. It can be similar to the name um, or you can change this later but we're going to type in the address. I'm just going to use the same uh, name I shouldn't have put a space there. So I'm just going to put uh, Kelso's professional blog and I'm going to click on this link and we're going to hope that we get a check here. If you get an exclamation point that means that address is already taken. So you'll either need to change the name or put a number at the end of it here. Uh, you could put like a number two or a number three and see if that is going to be available. But you need this blue check to be here. Um, we are going to look later at how you can uh, pick a template, but you can take time here to look through and they give you some limited templates that you could look through um, and select if you see one of those that you like. Once you have your blog created uh, and the information here, you're going to click on create blog. And it will take just a second. And then it's going to come up and it's going to ask you about the domain. Um, Basically, they're wanting you to purchase this domain, and we're just going to go with the free version, so we'll just click on No Thanks. And now I have my blog, and I'm taking to the dashboard. From the dashboard, I'm going to be able to do many different things, but for right now, I'm going to go to the top and just click on View Blog, and here is my basic blog with nothing on it yet and in the following activities in this particular module you will be looking at how to change different things on your blog to make it more personal to you. Thank you.